Hey guys, this is Micah with Blue Roots Media Marketing. And what we're going to do today is learn how to do image tracing in the new Illustrator CS6. And the cool thing about CS6 now is that it's it does it for you. Before you would have to take days or whatever. But now, I mean, really quick, really simple, really easy. You can do it in less than five minutes on a decent machine or a fast machine and on a decent machine maybe 10 20 minutes and what basically this is used for is so that we can go ahead and create a victor image and victor images will allow you to be able to expand um, make it smaller and put it on billboards the whole nine yards without having to do any it, it just it just is so much easier and it's basically a standard. It needs to go, I mean, Victor images need to be in magazines, etc. And if you're gonna be a professional at what you do, I mean, this is something you need to know. So what we're gonna do is in CS6, I mean, this is so easy. There's three different ways, basically. There's image tracing, there's tracing in the um, workspace setup, I'm going to go back to essentials um, and then there is the view menu I mean window menu and then go ahead and click on image trace this is where we're going to do this at for the for the time being so what you're what we're going to do is there's I'll click on low color this is going to take a second um, and basically what this do it'll it'll make it look like you painted the image so say if you wanted to make an icon or something like that and it looked like it was painted on bam boom there you go um, it, it does it for you it basically kinda looks like oil painting I think um, that you would get in Photoshop and to be quite honest I mean you know if you're an illustrator guy you know what I'm talking about you you kinda you might hate Photoshop or you might not want to use Photoshop as much but for this bam boom there you go it's quick easy and you could basically take and print this out now and expand it and throw it up on a billboard and nobody would ever know you did not paint that photo but for the tense and purpose here we're going to create this so that we can expand the original image and make a big giant photo on the wall so just go ahead click high color let it do it do its thing and here you can go and you can take colors and you can um, you know how much detail do you want this to pull out of it do you want it to go ahead and pull out everything well you just expand that to 100 and it'll do it and so basically like I said before and, and it, it'll allow you to also to manipulate color it'll allow you to also to change the um, image as well and so this is almost done here and this is a big file this is um, 14 um, uh, this is about a 14 megabyte file no maybe even no maybe bigger than that um, it was taken with a um, Canon mark 5 so you can imagine how big this file is in the detail that it was taken with and so here we go we're almost done there we go and so now you can't even tell I traced it but if you go to view trace results all that all those little light green lines would have took days people it would have took hours to be able to create and so here's just the outline here is there's different things you can go um, outline with source image so there you go alright so then you We'll go back to trace results. You zoom in there, you can kind of see where she was traced. And basically, now when you go ahead and save this image, you know, you'll have a victorized copy. All right, so let's zoom out here and let me show you what to do after you get to this point. When you get done here, just go ahead and click expand. That'll come up. This is all your traces and stuff like that just go ahead and you got your group and then here's all the different paths down here at the bottom um, that it created let me go back over here to let me show you another way over here um, that this could be useful say you did a logo back in the day or 
say your client, say you're an individual business owner or whatever, and you got a logo made for you, but it was back in the day when it was victorized. But now you have this software and you're able to do um, do different things, and you want that logo recreated or to be able to be used. All you have to do is select that image, high color. It's going to take a whole, it's going to be a whole lot faster because this is smaller. I want to do 100, expand, bam, completely done. You can take this pen tool, go up here like I got some trees. I can go ahead and select that. I should be able to manipulate it. Well, there we go. Something like that. Anyway, manipulate it, change it, do what you want to do with it, and make life a whole lot easier. It is so important to victor your graphics. I cannot stress this enough. It drives me crazy when I go to a website and someone created an image and it's not victored, it's, the resolution isn't set right, and I mean, it's like reality here. Come on, people, do your job. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope this works for you and once again subscribe to our channel I'm going to be doing these Photoshop Illustrator Premiere after and After Effects um, tutorials um, on a monthly basis like this share this um, and check out our website at www.blue-rootsmarketing.com